Hello, <clears throat> Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is June 12th of 2019. Uh, God, I hate to even get into this. Let me mention this just in case, <laughs> in case you never see me again. I had a pacemaker put in about 10 years ago. Um, because I have a complete heart block or whatever. That sounds, well, I'm not sure if it sounds worse than it is. Anyway, pacemaker's been working great. Uh, every three months I do the thing using the uh, device to send it to the uh, doctor's office, and then I see my cardiologist uh, once a year, and uh, they do, a, you know, then also they uh, do a scan there. They have all the data, uh, how the heart is doing and everything. So everything's been great. Today, for some reason, right where my heart is, I'm having pain. And I'm not sure if it's because I, I haven't eaten anything. I haven't had breakfast or even taken my morning medications yet. I haven't eaten anything, so it could... You know, I would think it was, uh, you know, I ate too much and uh, whatever, but I haven't had anything to eat yet. Uh, in fact, maybe you just heard my stomach growl. So I just wanted to mention that to you. If uh, I have a friend, and I hope a family, I hope one of, if uh, something were to happen to me, I've had several, you probably have too, I've had several friends or people that I knew and whatever that uh, I followed and then, I know, on Facebook or whatever, and all of a sudden, no postings or anything from them. Then I do some checking around, find out, you know, that they uh, passed away. But I've got a friend who has... Uh, my logins and everything, and he would be able to uh, update. Don't you know? Don't worry. And I'm just, I'm just mentioning it for the dramatic effect. Oh, uh, God, I hate. I've always been in a new. Even when I was in grade school, I watched the uh, different hearings that were had. You know, that were had uh, different hearings on TV. Uh, some of the ones that turned out to be pretty, you know, pretty famous or whatever. All types of stuff. Um, always been a news junkie. Always interested in following the news and that type of stuff. Uh, in my life, I worked for like 10 years as a welder and a boilermaker. I worked for the post office for a couple months. I quit them. I, My wife and I had a small business for a while. A couple small businesses. Um, so I've lived sort of a varied life been you know always interested in well if, if you followed my you know you know I was into shortwave radio and amateur radio and tracking earth satellites and uh, just doing all types of stuff uh, times have changed my, like my father I think his like his he had like seven brothers and they all you know <laughs> and three sisters they all worked you know but he for a very short period of time he had he worked um, um, for a company and it was I think Manor Bread I believe it was and he had a uh, <clears throat> they had a horse drawn cart or the company did and you know he had it so he had a <laughs> rode in a cart and delivered bread and I'm not sure maybe buns or I don't know you know cinnamon rolls door to door just like they used to deliver ice door to door and uh, milk door to door and stuff like that but anyway he worked for the, I think it was a man or bread company and uh he told me several times, you know, when he had this route that he went, 
and there was a German shepherd or whatever, or a German police dog that waited, you know, for him, and then would jump up on the cart and would ride his, ride the route with him and then jump, I, you know. So, but then after that, you know, he got married. Uh, uh, see, I was born March, December of 41. World War II started and he uh, and my mother went to California with me, and uh, he worked uh, as a welder, and she worked as a welder uh, in the Kaiser shipyards, building Liberty ships during the entire war. And then they came back with me and to Missouri, and for the rest of his life, he uh, was a, he was a boilermaker, a welder, and a boilermaker the rest of his. Well, until later, he became a union official with the Boilermakers Union. And my mother always worked. She worked for Western Auto as a secretary. She worked at Hellsburg Jewelry Store or whatever for a little bit. And then she went to nursing school and became a licensed practical nurse and <clears throat> worked that the rest of her life. So I just, the reason for that is telling you, you know, look at the difference. I can't tell you how many, you know, I worked for. Comp USA as a pricer, you know, I, anyway, I've, t I've had tons of jobs. Uh, I worked 30 years in hospital security. Some of my jobs overlapped, you know, I had part-time jobs or whatever. Um, So I retired from hospital security in November of 1999. It didn't all go down. So I retired in November of 1999. In 2000, the 2000 census came around, and uh, I, along with how many other people, a lot. Here it is. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, I went to work for the. I had to take a little test, a little tiny test. Uh, for the U.S. Department of Commerce, the Bureau of the Census, and every 10 years, there's very few, th our, the United States, our founding fathers really did do, and I know they're Republicans, and I hate to talk about politics. Uh, and I'm going to try not to really be real political in this thing, but it's going to turn, I'll have to be a little bit. But uh, the Constitution of the United States is a great instrument, and I, and our founding fathers did a fantastic job of it. And there's very little in the Constitution. I mean, it was, you know, they drew up in very minimal, but then, of course, it was, you know, filled in by, you know, what was put in the Constitution, some of it was, but the Constitution was drawn up and there's a way to change the Constitution. It's very difficult to change it. And that been, has been a good thing. I'm afraid now maybe it's a bad thing. But uh, Very few things are in the Constitution and I, a lot of them are uh, I'm going to take a pain pill. Very few things in there. Uh, one of the few things that are, by the way, I understand that which 
that uh, England. I got to get this right, and I'll probably get. Um, you can correct me if you're. Uh, from England or the UK. It's my understanding that uh, England actually does not have a constitution. And uh, you guys have done okay also, you know. Uh, but you actually don't have one. But uh, our constitution, there's you know, very little in it. And when George Washington was elected president, you know, he uh, and others, you know, uh, who took office, you know, when things were created, you know, they sort of, <clears throat> it did go into the Constitution, but, you know, it was decided, you know, like George Washington, you know, when he was, uh, you know, elected president of the United States, the first one, you know, it was like, uh, you know, your excellency, what shall we call you, you know, yeah, you know, king or, you know, whatever, no, you know, call me Mr. President. And then things were just filled out, and he, man, for, he served two terms, and when things came up, he, and that became, you know, this is the way to do it, this is, and it was other, so, fantastic document, but <clears throat> one of the few things in the Constitution is that there will be, every 10 years, you know, a census done, and I forget the exact wording of it, but, you know, it will be, of course, they couldn't say, uh, you can do it by the internet, or you can do, you know, this is, you know, um, but uh, it's, you know, it was just, you know, so pretty amazing. Anyway, it's one of the few things in the Constitution. There will be a census done, and you will go out and, you know, contact these people and get the information. So, um, every 10 years, a census has to be done, and look at this. Uh, let's see, wait a minute. That's not the number of people. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The 20, this is the one I worked, the 2000 census. After that, there was a 2010 census, which... I would have liked to actually have worked. Uh, but I didn't. Um, don't think I had a car, I think. Okay, this is not the number of people worked. This is the number of people that the census showed up. 240 eight million, you know, et cetera. Uh, approximately 16% received a long form on the 2000 census, which contained over 100 questions. Now, keep in mind, I worked to that census. Man, that was... Uh, okay, now I just burped. That may be the reason for the chest, you know. I thought, well, I could, couldn't be that because uh, I haven't had anything to eat. But, uh, where would that be? That'd be under Google Photos, wouldn't it? Where in the hell is Google Photos? Hang on here a second. Amazon Photos. Where is Google Photos? I don't even know. Let's go down here and see if we can find Google Music. No, it's got to be Google Photos here someplace. Uh, photos, but this is it. Taking a while. Let's see. Come on, this has got to be Google Photos, doesn't it? No, it's not. I was going to show you my... Uh, where the hell is Google Photos? I know, but let's go down here. Let's see. Uh, 
uh, photos. Maybe this is it. Or is that where I just went? Okay, that's where I just went. Oh, well, I don't know. Terrible to get old. Anyway, um, a ton of us, a lot of people I had to work the census because you had to go out and talk to uh, everybody. And that census, it, you know, it varies. I mean, in the Constitution, like I said, it has very little in it. By the way, I'm not sure. Oh, I was going to, if you're in the U.K. or if you're in England, you know, you'll correct me if I was wrong, whatever. I'm guessing probably that Ireland and Scotland and uh, Wales and where well, those might, you know, those countries, part of the UK, probably have a census. I mean, probably have a constitution. Anyway, but uh, somebody can update me. Um, so I took the test and, you know, was hired and. But before I went to work, I think I I think we were already in training. Actually, there was like three or four parts of the census. The first one, we went out, and what we did is just got addresses, you know, and maps. And we made maps. I mean, we didn't draw a map. You know, we got the, the data for streets and all that kind of. And then it was three parts, so... Uh, um, so this was in 2000, and so while I was employed by the center, we were doing this other work, you know, maps, getting addresses, everything straight, so that when we went out, and not all of us had to, you know, you could opt out or whatever, I worked. I don't think there was, I think there was something that was actually number one, and I don't think I was part of that. I was part of number two, and then the final census. Can't remember now, but on at that time I had cable television, so I got C-SPAN. And C-SPAN, for those of you outside the United States, it's kind of, it's kind of a joke. But I really liked it. I don't have a, it, well. I could go online, but they they show all of you know when the House is in Senate. We even when it is, you know, they. When the House and the Senate, they have cameras there. They show and you hear everything. Committee meetings, they cover committee meetings. But C-SPAN also, they have interviews with people. They have things where they go to, uh, you know, they go out to different places for political festivals or they cover everything, you know, they cover everything. And like I said, they're kind of a joke, but so they cover all the hearings and everything. Um, and so the Census Bureau is, or the uh, you know the administration, the executive branch comes up with the questions because it's not spelled out in the Constitution. Uh, what you know, what all the you're going to ask the questions on. Of course, many basically <clears throat> from the very beginning, it's you know, then your name, how many live here, ages, you know, don't, don't, and of course it varies a little bit with the census, you know. But they, <clears throat> so the executive branch comes up. These are the questions, you know. The census bureau comes up with the questions, but <clears throat> we have. Uh, three branches of government, and the legislature really was a designed, and and uh, it was thought by our founding fathers that that would be, you know, the preeminent one. They were going to control the, uh, you know, the budget, and they would be the ones to decide if we go to war. Uh, they would approve, you know. Of, so, but things have kind of changed, you know. And, uh, but anyway, so for 2000, the Census Bureau comes up with the questions. 
And of course, this was kind of an unusual, I don't know how often they did that. Maybe that was the only time where they did a hundred question, you know, so some people got the short form and some people got the long for form, you know, so. Now the Census Bureau sent out the thing, but if somebody didn't return it, then, you know, we called on them. Uh, so the Congress holds hearings, you know, because the uh, executive branch, the presidential, you know, executive branch, the Census Bureau, these are the questions that we want to ask. And they go, you know, to Congress, and Congress has them lined up there, you know, lined up there asking with, in front of a committee. Uh, and so, you know, the committee is Democrats and Republicans both on the committee. Whoever's in power has, you know, slightly more on the committee, you know. Uh, So I watched on C-SPAN. So it's like now the Republicans, you know, are uh, looking for, you know, they're like they're, why are you, and it's like the Republicans are like, okay, you know, the president was, you know, the president's a Democrat and this is, you know, the Democratic administration. And so, you know, <clears throat> why are you asking the people their name? You know, why are you, and they're looking, you know, the, the questions of, you know, the Census Bureau is there. These are the questions. And just remember now there's a, they have a thing this, this time with like a hundred questions, the long form. And so the Republicans are like, oh, okay, you know, and Republicans are thinking, because sort of when the Republicans attack you for some reason, or when they're this way, and you think like, why in the world would they be upset about this? Or why would they think that, why would they think that we would do something like this? The uh, thing always is, it's because the Republicans would, you know, the Democrats probably wouldn't, you know, I might feel my stomach is growling like crazy. Maybe I would just be better if my, if I had some food in me. I'll take care of that here in a little bit. Um, We've, what we've seen now is, especially these years, you know, since uh, Clinton was elected and Obama and whatever, that, you know, the Republicans say, you're doing such and such. And the Democrats and everybody are like, you know, no, they would, nobody would do that. But it turns out the Republicans do. The reason they are accusing you or thinking you're going to do it is because they will do it. So they go, so I'm watching the C-SPAN, you know, and uh, in the committee, the Republicans, why are you asking these people, you know? And so the Census Bureau is there and I've never had this much pain Uh, since I had the pacemaker put in. Um, so the Census Bureau there before Congress, you know, the, the Republicans especially, you know, the Democrats ask questions too. Is this information needed? Uh, do you have to ask if they have a telephone? Uh, do you have to ask if they have a, you know, and whatever, and then of course, what the Census Bureau is saying is, you know, laws that Congress has passed require us to know, you know, I forget how, you know, like, do we need to put a veterans hospital in this area, you know, for the VA administration, because how many veterans are in this area? Do we, and it, so all the questions, or even the Republicans at the end of the thing were like, oh, yeah, okay, you know, they're not, yeah, there are all these questions, you know, need to be asked. 
Um, so, but now, you know, the Republicans are in control of the executive branch, and the executive branch wants to ask the question, are you a citizen, is what they want to ask. And that's really political. That's really heavily, uh, you know. When the census is all done, it's that's how you decide how many congressmen. Well, every every state has two senators. You get that, you know, no matter what. Even if you're Oregon or someplace where you don't have any people, you know, or Alaska, you still get two senators. But so far as Congress, that's based on your, you know and funding for how much money you get for various, you know, for hospital, for VA hospitals, for everything is decided by this, you know, it's weighed about how much, you know, and as you can understand, if, you know, if you ask people, are you a citizen, or if they're just afraid you're going to ask them, are you a citizen, people are going, some people are going to, uh, not answer, and not take the census, not do the census. And on, you might think at first, well, that's great, that's, but that's not good. Because like I said, uh, money for infrastructure, for schools, all types of things are decided. And if you have, like you're in Texas, and in Arizona, and New Mexico, and places like that, if you have a lot of immigrants who are worried that they're going to be asked, uh, are there any, are you a citizen, you know, whatever, that they're going to be grabbed by, you know, the immigration officials and thrown out of the country or whatever. They're not going to count. And on the one hand, it would be kind of, you know, Texas is, actually Texas is not as Republican as, as you think. All the cities in Texas, Fort Worth, Dallas, they're democratic. It's, uh, you know, it's way, way, but. So anyway, the Trump administration is, oh man, they want this question. Are you a citizen to be on there? Like I said, it actually would hurt some of, so Trump is, you know, he's, okay, I'm into the political rant now. Trump is stupid. Trump is incompetent. Uh, okay. I didn't, I didn't want to get in. I want to talk about but I mean, he. Uh, this actually would hurt, like Texas is, New Mexico and Arizona, whatever you know, these kind of states that are Republican, and Trump or whatever. Uh, then it would be the undercount. You know, there'd be fewer people showing up in the census, and that would hurt these states actually not going to help you know they think it's going to help but when you have somebody who's like Trump who doesn't understand anything so uh, anyway I watched the hearings and then when I went out to do the 2000 census which I've commented before about then that's, that's just 2000 here we are in 2019 and I wish uh I could win a lottery and move to New Zealand or go back where my family came from in County Cork in Ireland. Uh, maybe even Germany, where the Slotmans came from. But, uh, so I watched the hearings, and so, and that, okay, so I did the 2000 census in the state of Missouri, uh, county of Cass County. And really, it was it's kind of a uh, redneck, uh, you know, uh, Bible Belt sort of area, Protestant, you know, Bible Belt sort of area. And I worked at the hospital there, uh, 
Research Belton Hospital in Belton, Missouri. That's where I lived also, you know. I'm, uh, um, so, um, so um, uh, I went out and into a redneck area. Oh, anyway, I worked at this hospital, and I was the only liberal Democrat. I was the only Democrat there. Well, I mean, I didn't know every on the on the emergency room, X-ray. You know, I don't know if the nurses up on the second floor take. I don't know, but everybody. <clears throat> I was the only liberal Democrat. They would wait for me to come to work. What do you think about the Rodney King rioting? What about uh, uh, Dukakis is a member of the ACE, a a of the American. Civil Liberties Union, or what? And you know, so I was. Uh, so that was the atmosphere I went out to, and I went out and when I did the two thousand census, that after that, that made me feel so good about America. There was a you know a redneck conservative area, and I went out and I had to do for what. Some of them got the short form, some got the long form. And uh, now there was a few, a very few people that said, yeah, I'm not sure if I want the government. And I said, you know, hey, you know, let's just do the census. And if you have a problem with a question and you wonder why am I being asked this question or whatever, I, I'll I'll try to answer your question. If I don't answer your question for you, then, you know, okay, whatever. And they said, oh, okay. And so there was a few questions that came up, and I had watched these hearings where, you know, the Congress was asking them, why are you asking, you know, this question? And the census people said, the reason we have to do that is because, you know, of legislation that you passed that needs us to know how much, you know, whatever. So I was able, and so fine. No problem. But anyway, I, I called on these people, and um, they had adopted, some of these people had adopted children from foreign countries. They had adopted children, you know, of different races and uh, religions. They had uh, adopted uh, kids that had disabilities, you know, from the United States or whatever. And after doing the 2000 census, and then those other things, after <clears throat> after the 2000 census, I thought, man, America is great, and I can't wait. Hope I can do the 2000. And I told people, you know, in my blog, written blog, and online, uh, <clears throat> you know, if you get the opportunity to do the census, you do it. It'll make you feel. But of course, times have changed. Um, and they. 2000 census, I had one place that I went up to, you know, knocked on the door or whatever. And the guy came and I said, I'm, you know, with the, you know, the U.S. Census Bureau here for the census or whatever. Get off my blankety blank property. Don't you set foot in here. You know, I'm not answering any of your, you know, your, I'm not answering any of your. And I said, well, sir, could I, and they just, you know, eh. And I was going to try to explain to him, and I knew it would set him off, though, but I was going to try to explain what was going to happen, you know. And now, actually, it, it's a law, but we never, I think out of the end, nobody, here we have a 2,000 census, they go to everybody's door, the Census Bureau, or nobody was, nobody, nobody was forced, you know, nobody was arrested. I mean, I, here in Texas, there was, uh, I was doing the census in uh, 2000, or maybe it was in 2010, there was a uh, female lawyer here in Texas, you know, lived in a gated community and uh, whatever, and the census worker came, and she was a lawyer, and she came out and shot, you know, he wasn't, he actually wasn't, he was at the, he couldn't even get in, you know, he was outside a wall with her, <laughs> and she came out and shot him. So, and she was, you know, right wing. Well, she had mental problems, is what the like the news indicated. But 
Anyway, I come to the door and this guy, and so I was going to try to explain to him, you know, why, and of course, because he was going to say, I don't have to, you know, whatever, and I was going to, probably, which I shouldn't, you know, I was going to say, actually, yes, you know, we're not going to take any punitive action or anything like that against you, but, you know, you love the Constitution, and that's one of the few things that are, you know, and, uh, but anyway, he was like, yeah, you know, so I was, what, what I was going to, but I couldn't. What I was going to explain to him was, and I thought, maybe you'll be interested in this. <laughs> what would happen is they would send back another census taker, just a regular, ordinary person, you know, would come back. So, I mean, the guy, the man or woman could have come back, and maybe he was gone at work or out shooting his guns at a range, you know, whatever, you know, and his wife might have gone, you know, okay, here. Now, hope, luckily, she'd have the short form, you know, but... Uh, Let's assume that, you know, census worker comes back, he's there. Even more angry, you know, I'm sure. What would happen then is they'd send a supervisor out. I'm sure the supervisor would probably think, oh, no problem. I can go out and, uh, you know, this soup, you know, and he'd, man, by that time, can you imagine this guy? <sighs> probably be foaming at the mouth, you know, turning into a, zombie or something or other because they came back. <clears throat> then they might send another super higher level supervisor. But then what would happen is they would just send a super send a uh, census worker out. I never had this come up because this was worth well on the I never had it come up. But then they would just go to the next door neighbor. How many do you know how many people live in that house? Well depending on whether it's short form or long, you know. <sighs> if hope of God, man, it would be the uh I don't think they would have the option, actually the option of saying, you know, in that situation, you think, okay, for this guy, we're supposed to be doing the long form, you know, because they don't decide on somebody. It's just, you know, hey, every, you know, but it seems like they'd say, okay, let's just, let's make this guy a short form one, you know. All we need is name and, you know, a date of birth and who lives there and a few things, you know. But anyway. So, the Trump administration wants to put this, obviously, we, it, you know, we know what the agenda was or whatever. And so they want this question, are you a citizen? Because uh, they don't want these people to be counted. And uh, they think it's going to keep people from voting and uh, all types of stuff. So. So the Congress wants, is going to do the same thing that it, uh, you know, did in the, ever, that does every census. Why are these questions being asked? Now, they've done away with the long form, they, I, every, you know, but they want to add a question, you know. And Trump is invoking executive privilege to keep, he's saying, we're not going to tell the White House is now exerting executive privilege over all documents related to the 2020 census. This comes as the House Oversight Committee votes on whether to hold the Attorney General, William Barr, and the Commerce Secretary, Wilbur Ross, who are both involved in the census issue, in contempt of Congress for refusing to comply with subpoenas for those documents. Meanwhile, Don I mean, so, I mean, this is, I don't even know where on the scale of craziness you you put this um, the Department of Commerce is the one that's you know the Census Bureau comes let's see here you know Department of US Department of Commerce and then it's of course the the Bureau of the Census is you know an agency under them that does this I mean this is this is insane and it just shows you, you know, um, and we know what, you know, you know why. What what reason do you think that, no, we're not going to tell you any, any kind of discussions that we had about uh, this. We're not going to tell you how come we wanted to add a question like, because you know what's going to happen, then you're going to be, you know, under, they're going to be testifying under oath, and it's going to be, 
did you, two or more of you people or whatever, did you decide, hey, hey, this is a great idea. This is going to help us, you know, uh, it's going to hurt the Democrats. I'm not sure how exactly it would hurt the Democrats, but this is going to hurt the Democrats. It'll make it, you know, easier for uh, Trump to, you know, to win or what, you know. Uh, whatever. I mean, just they've had these conversations. You know, they've had these conversations. Hey, <laughs> Oh man, this is a great opportunity. We're gonna screw these, you know. We're gonna screw these communist, uh, you know, Democrats or whatever. And uh, you know what I would do is, of course, you can't it take the sin, you know, takes the sin. But I think I would do it anyway. I would just, of course, this would go. To, it's going to go to the court, you know, Supreme Court. And of course, the United States Supreme Court is going to look at the Constitution, yeah. and it passed, you know, the way everything has been done, you know, since our founding fathers, and say, no, you, you know, Congress has one hundred percent right to all of this information, and you must testify, and you must turn over. I mean, that's what the even the, you know, the United States Supreme Court is going to say, but. What I would do is just uh, the House, you know, vote uh, contempt against uh, against them, and then hold hearings for you know for the impeachment of of these people, uh, even if the Senate Republicans, you know, even if they say no. Still, you're on the record that, you know, the, uh, I think they should, you know, just, just do it. Hold the hearings, you know, and, uh, my God, this is so crazy. Okay, I think I've talked long enough. I'm going to try to get some food in my stomach and see if, if that helps. Uh. I'm not sure, did I cover the subject well? Well, anyway, let me say again, which I said in past videos, I was so proud to be an American in 2000. I actually, in 2010, I think, and, and especially like now, I would, I would be afraid to be a census person going out, and just think of what you're going to, you know, you know, uh, just think of the hostility that you are going to run into. I actually do think now the Constitution of the United States says in it, you know, you must go, you know, one on one to do it. I mean, if we have, you know, over 300 million people now, wow, and the expense and uh, everything is unbelievable. I think. But I think it would take it would take definitely would take the Democrats and Republicans to get together and go where you could do some type of uh, statistical do it in a statistical way. Now I can understand that you know if the Republican and they did and they did in the I think in the two thousand there was some th thought about hey maybe we should. You know, or could at some point, and Republicans. Yeah, it's yeah, and then the Constitution, the founding father. You know, so okay, my God, but maybe you know, it's too bad our government can't come together and come up with some way that would be accurate. I think it'd actually be more accurate. And uh, whatever. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.